Hi, I'm Jacqueline with Yoga TX, and today's uh, yoga sequence will be focusing on yoga for a healthy back. We'll go ahead and close the eyes for a moment, just do a little centering. Take a couple deep breaths here. On the inhale, feel the belly and the chest expand. On the exhale, feel it deflate. Go ahead and open the eyes. And then we'll just slowly come down onto our backs. So we'll bend the knees and then use your hands to lie down. We'll bring the soles of the feet to the mat, heels fairly close to the bottom, and then arms down by your sides. We'll press firmly into all four corners of the feet, press down firmly into the arms and the back of the head. On your next inhale, we'll lift the hips a couple of inches. On the exhale, slowly lower down. On the inhale, lift the hips another couple of inches. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lift the hips up a little higher. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the hips even higher. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift the hips and the arms up over our head at the same time. Exhale, lower the arms and the hips down slowly. Inhale, lift the hips and the arms up overhead. Exhale, slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, press into the feet to lift the hips and the arms up overhead. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, lift the hips up overhead and the arms. Exhale, slowly lower down. Think of self-massage on the way down. Inhale, lift the hips and the arms up overhead. This time we'll keep the hips lifted. Slowly lower the arms down by your sides. Keep pressing firmly into your feet and the backs of the arms and try to lift the heart up from the floor a little bit higher. And then the chin draws away from the heart center slightly. Abdomen's engaged, backs of the thighs are engaged. And breathe here. And then on your next exhale, we'll slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. And then let's go ahead and hug the right knee in towards your chest. You can bring the hands to the shins and we'll flex through that right foot. And then we'll extend the left leg straight, coming into a reclined lunge. Both feet are flexed. And take a couple deep breaths here, just allowing the hip to open. And press gently into the lower back. Soften the shoulders down to the mat. Soften the jaw muscles. And then from here, let's just rock the knee from side to side. You can bring the left hand down to the left hip. And then we'll keep that knee opened up towards the right. Take a couple breaths here, rooting the left side down into the ground. And then we'll go ahead and draw that knee across the body coming into a reclined twist. 
can go ahead and extend that right arm out from your shoulder and the left knee or the right knee can be lifted. You can put a block or a blanket or a pillow underneath the knee if you so choose. And then from here we can pick up the head and turn the gaze to look over the fingertips if that feels okay on the neck. Take a couple deep breaths here. On the inhale, feel the, chill, the belly and the chest expand. On the exhale, feel the navel draw and sleep. turn the gaze to look up towards center. Draw the knee back in towards the chest. And then from here, we'll interlace the fingers behind that right thigh, extend that heel into the air. <clears throat> we'll press the back of the thigh into the hands. And if your hamstrings are tight, you're always welcome to bend the knee quite a bit here. Otherwise, the leg starts to straighten, at least a little micro bend in that knee. And the left leg is engaged as well. Here we'll soften the shoulders down away from the ears. A couple deep breaths. And then we'll go ahead and turn the toes out towards the right. And we're gonna make a figure right, toes turn towards the left. Just drawing a little figure eight with the foot, getting into all the three sides of the hamstring, the IT band. So this is really great if you're a runner or have tight legs or tight back. So the movements can be big or small. And just keep that right foot flexed. And you'll notice I've got my knee bent here quite a bit. And then we'll go ahead and come back to center with the leg extended. And then here, we're gonna go ahead and walk the hands up the thigh a little bit. You can always bend the knee. And then on the exhale, we'll hug the nose towards the knee, rounding the spine, lifting the torso. Just stretching the back body, the back of the leg a little bit deeper here. Soften the shoulders down. Engage the abdomen area. And then inhale, we'll release. Exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, we'll go ahead and place the right foot down onto the mat and bend the left knee as well. Take a couple breaths here. Just notice the difference from side to side. We'll go ahead and hug the left knee in towards the chest. Extend the right leg straight. Flex through both feet. And take a couple breaths here. Again, soften the shoulders down, teeth are parted to soften the jaw muscles. And then we'll go ahead and move the knee from side to side a couple of times, opening up the hip, massaging the back body. And then we'll keep that knee opened up towards the left, bring the right hand down to the right hip to help ground you down. A couple breaths here. that knee back to center. Interlace the fingers behind that thigh and extend that heel into the air. <clears throat> we'll press the back of the thigh into the hands and then the hands are pressing into the thigh. Both legs are actively engaged. And again, if you need to bend the knee, you can always bend the knee. And then we'll go ahead and turn the toes out towards the left and move towards the left, turn the toes in towards the right. We'll make some figure eights with that foot and legs. So really moving from the hip joint. Movements can be big or small. 
Nice, slow, controlled movements. And the knee can be bent here. A couple more rounds here. And just focus on your breath. And then we'll go ahead and come back to center. Hug that knee in towards your chest. And then we'll go ahead and bend the right knee and place both knees down, both legs down onto the mat. Take a couple of breaths. And then from here, we'll cross the right ankle on top of the left thigh. You can gently draw that right thigh away from your body. And if this is an intense enough stretch, you stay here. Otherwise, we're gonna hug this left knee in towards your chest, coming in to thread the needle pose. So right foot stays flexed to help protect the knee. And left leg can be relaxed. We'll take a couple breaths together. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale deeply. Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale deeply. Exhale, let it go. A couple more breaths here. And then we'll go ahead and exhale, release the left foot down. Right foot comes down as well. Let's extend the left leg straight and then the right leg straight. Take a nice deep stretch from the fingertips to the toes. And then exhale, hug the left knee in towards your chest. Hug the right knee in. We'll go ahead and do the opposite side. So placing the right foot down, we'll cross the left ankle on top of that right thigh. And then you can just gently draw that left thigh away from the body. Left foot is flexed. You're welcome to stay here. Otherwise, we're gonna hug this knee in towards your chest can interlace the fingers behind that thigh. We'll keep the left foot flexed. We'll take a few deep breaths together again. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale deeply. Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale deeply. Exhale out of the mouth. A couple more breaths here. And go ahead and place the right foot down. And then left foot comes down to the mat as well. Take a nice deep stretch again, extend one leg straight and then the other. Inhale, extend the arms up overhead. Deep stretch from the fingertips to the toes. And then exhale, hug one knee in towards your chest and then the other. We'll go ahead and bring the hands to the tops of the knees. On your inhale, draw the knees away from the body. On your exhale, draw the knees in towards the chest. Inhale, knees move away from the body. Exhale, knees hug in. Inhale, knees move away from the body. Exhale, hug the knees in. Inhale, move the knees away from the body. Exhale, hug in. Inhale, knees draw away from the body. Exhale, knees hug in. Inhale, knees draw away from the body and exhale, knees draw in. We'll go ahead and hug the knees in towards your chest. Let's round the spine, nose towards knee, lift the torso, give yourself a great big hug, and then we'll release. We'll extend the right arm up overhead, and with the knees hugged in towards your chest, we'll turn over onto our right side. Take a couple breaths here, resting your head on your arm, and then from here, 
As you're ready to come up, we'll press the left hand into the mat, right hand presses down as well, and then just lift up slowly, head coming up last, and then we'll just come to a seated posture again, <clears throat> crossing the legs. Bring the hands to the thighs, and we'll just check in here. Let's close the eyes, notice how you're feeling. Take a couple deep breaths. Go ahead and open the eyes and join the hands together at Heart Center in honor of your practice today. And thank you for joining our Yoga for a Healthy Back sequence. And if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like the video and subscribe so that you're notified of any other further yoga sequences. And again, my name is Jacqueline Howell. Thank you so much. Namaste. Inhale, come up to hands and knees. Exhale, tuck the toes under, press into the hands to lift the hips up and back, coming into down dog. With the arms, <clears throat> knees can be bent, chest drawing back towards thighs. And then here, let's just make some yes and no movements with the head, just softening the neck. And if at any time this gets to be too much,